Today is July 22nd, a number often used as pi, but it's just an approximation. There's a small difference from the actual value. Now, does it matter which one we use? Well, sometimes. Imagine designing a 400 meter track with two straight sections of 168.78 meters and two semicircles of 231.22 meters. What's the radius for the curves? The total curve length is two pi r, Using 22 over seven, the radius is 36.78 meters. Use it to make the track, and we end up with a slightly shorter one. But no big deal. The 400 meter world record stays safe. Other small circles, like a manhole cover, or the size of a pizza or cake, might not change. But what about bigger ones? Like a cylindrical water tank with a capacity of 20,000 cubic meters and a height of 10 meters. Using 22 over 7, its radius is 25.22 meters. But use these values to build the tank, and you get one with a lesser volume. This 18 cubic meter difference could have met the daily water demand of 180 people, causing a water shortage. Use it for large reservoirs or dams, and this could lead to a water crisis. The difference could be even more significant, like with the International Space Station. It moves fast, so precise positioning is crucial for docking. The position depends on the time period, which depends on pi. Using 22 over 7, there's a 2.19 second gap. It seems small, but over 100 orbits, that's 219 seconds. Enough to cause docking issues, risking crew transfers, or even damage to the spacecraft. For smaller measurements, 22 over 7 works fine. But for larger ones, even small differences can have a big impact. Being math fit is about knowing when an approximation is enough and when you need to be spot on. Happy Pi Approximation Day.